amma man fi qalbihi zaighun fa yatamada fi tughyanihi wa isyanihi wa rubbama zdada shar wa rubbama zdada sharran dhannan minhu anna hadha sayanfidhuhu anhu walakinnahu fi alhaqiqa la yaziduhu illa balaan wa shu'ma wa alayhi alayhi wa ala al-umma yaqul Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala azza wa jal wa laqad akhadunahum bil'adhabi famastakanu ni rabbihim wa ma yatadarra'una in hatta idha fatahna alayhim baba حتى إذا فتحنا عليهم بابا ذا عذاب شديد إذا هم فيه مبلسون اللهم إنا نسألك أن تجعلنا من أنصار دينك المدافعين عنه ونسألك اللهم أن توفقنا لما فيه من, فيه من خير اللهم اقسم على أعدائك بما شئت اللهم من أراد بنا سوءا فاجعل كيده في نحره وشتت شمله وفرج جمعه وهزم جنه ودمر سلاحه واجعله في نحره يا رب العالمين إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم لا ترد دعنا بسوء أفعالنا اللهم تب علينا وتقبل منا إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم أرنا في أعدائنا وهم أعدوك الذين يريدون القضاء على دينك اللهم أرنا بس أرهم أرنا بهم ما يصرنا عاجلا غير آجل يا رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد الحمد لله الذي الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين. My dear respected brothers, Allah سبحانه وتعالى is the one who has the the قوة. Many nations came before and they claimed they were the people of قوة. رب العالمين has stated in the Quran profoundly for the believers that to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belongs the quwwah walaw kariha al-kafirun walaw kariha al-zalimun even if they want to extinguish the light of Rabbul Alameen yuriduna liyutfi'u nur Allahi bi afwahihim wallahu mutimmu nurihi walaw kariha al-kafirun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is in charge. Many a nations, wallahi, many a nations, the people of Ah, the people of Thamud, the people of Fir'aun, the Ahzab, many of those nations, they claim they were powerful. They are the might. They are the ones in charge. They are the warlords. But Rabbul Alameen, he destroyed Kulluhum. He destroyed the people of Ad because they were boastful. He destroyed the people of Thamud. He destroyed the people of Lot. He destroyed the people of the Ahzab. He destroyed the people of the Uhdud. Even though they put them into fire, subhanAllah. وَمَا نَقَمُوا مِنْهُمْ إِلَّا أَنْ يُؤْمِنُوا Why do you think they used to kill these people? وَمَا نَقَمُوا مِنْهُمْ إِلَّا أَنْ يُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ الْعَزِيزِ الْحَمِيرِ It is only because they say, we believe in Allah, Al-Aziz al hamid This king, he put every one of those believers into the fire. Dhanan, thinking that he is a winner. But Rabbul Alameen is the winner, subhanAllah. Rabbul Alameen is in charge. Wa makaru, wa makaru Allah. They plot. Rabbul Alameen is the greatest of plotter. He plots as well. Wallahu khayrul makirin. Rabbul Alameen is the best of plotters. Rabbul Alameen, towards the end of this story, Wallahi, in the eyes of many of us, we will see Muslims are being suffered and tortured. Muslims are being persecuted. Muslims are being humiliated in every nation. Not only this nation, in every nation you have Muslims are being suffered. After this king put them into the ditch, what did he say? I am the winner. He was no winner, subhanAllah. 
Rabbul Alami says, وَذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْكَبِيرُ What a mighty, amazing victory for the believers. Wallahi a ruju ila tawheed. Ruju ila ma'rifatillahi azza wa jal. Knowing Rabbul Alameen. Thiku billahi adhan. Properly we need to understand that Rabbul Alameen is in charge. If the whole world was to come together to destroy this Islam, Wallahi, yuriduna li yutfi'u nur Allahi bi afwahihim. In every single generation, they, the people wish to put out, extinguish. They want to extinguish the light of Rabbul Alameen. Wallahu mutimmu nurihi. Rabbul Alameen will allow this religion to prevail. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who would send these prophets from time to time. Not only guidance, but a religion that is authentic, a religion that is right, a religion that is only yuqbalu inda Allah, Rabbul Alameen. He only accepts the religion of monotheism, the religion of Tawheed. وَأَرْسَلَ رَسُولَهُ بِالْهُدَى وَدِينِ الْحَقِّ لِيُظْهِرَهُ عَلَى الدِّينِ كُلِّهِ So that his way, the way of Rabbul Alameen, will be the domineering way, the way that is pleasing to Rabbul Alameen. وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْمُشْرِكُونَ Even if the disbelievers don't like it. Rabbul Alameen is very pleased when the people turn to his religion. Rabbul Alameen will be very happy with us when we stick to the authentic aqeedah, the aqeedah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this aqeedah where there is no shirk, there is no khurafat, there is no bid'ah, there is no corruption, there is no innovation. Rabbul Alameen only accepts the religion that is pure upon tawheed. And even if we were to die in the process, subhanallah, we will only die with a, with a, with, in a state of honor and degree, subhanAllah. Even though in the eyes of the disbelievers, there is something of victory. Wallahi, Rabbul Alameen has prepared for them a place that is full of torment. Jahannam khalideen fiha. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us firm believers. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen our safuf. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the companies and the friends and the kalam of the ulama so that we can be people who are rightly guided. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us our humble efforts. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lay not on us burden that we break bread that we have strength to bear. May He blot out our sins and grant us forgiveness. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us good in this world and good in the hereafter and save us from the punishment of the hellfire. Ya Rabbal Alameen, Qumu ila salatikum, Ya Rahmukum Allah. Ya ilaha al-wujud, Qad sa'imtu al-quyud. Ya ilaha سائمت القيود كبالتني ذنوب وما نلت الخطوب أنت رب رحيم مدني بهدى ورعاني في حما Thank you.